it's Jeff Matthews, Athens in the AM, with my lovely little kitchen assistant, Amy, <laughs> the fabulous one, Horton. Though you may be seeing double, you are this morning because we are in the kitchen. We are having a little chili cook-off this morning. And over on the side, we have uh, our panel of just... <laughs> I'm not sure what their panel of this morning. Uh, it came Ronnie say. Huddleston, we got Tom McAllister and Bama Zach. And we need a split screen on those two so we can yeah, see we, if, we, if, they, if they're looking at each other in the eye. in the kitchen we'll this morning. You know, we've been thinking of a little challenge to have in the kitchen that we have the room, we have the availability, we have the kitchen, we have all the accessories that we can go ahead and have a little challenge this morning. This side of the kitchen would be... The famous one, and then the fabulous one on the other side. Famous uh, and fabulous. Uh, really? Making some homemade chili here. Uh, Horma uh, sponsored by Hormel over here. <laughs> uh, over on the other side, we have uh, Miss Mara's recipe from Shreveport, Louisiana, which will be sent to uh, the fabulous one to put in her third book, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> secondly, we're going to make a little bit of uh, Mexican cornbread because... I like Mexicans, and they're really nice, and they make good cornbread. <laughs> so, <laughs> give us a few they're minutes. They're pretty good roofers, too, ain't they? And they're really good roofers, too. So, give us a few they're minutes rickers. in the Lewis and Son Roofing Kitchen, and we'll head over to Jamie for a few. All right, let's do the weather right quick. Hey, good morning, hey, Jamie. Good morning. Thank y'all for getting up with us. Here's the weather forecast. I don't even know. I just know it ain't going to rain. No rain in the forecast for probably about till Monday no, or no, Tuesday no, or whatever. No. What do you say, Zach? There's 20%. 20%. So, Zach says it's going to rain. Zach's got some bad news for Missouri Travers said it might be a little stormy up that way. We'll talk about that in a moment. There's the weather forecast. Here's a long range forecast when I'll be in this weekend watching football. Look at that weather forecast. Looking fabulous, ain't it, Tom? It is. Way to go in there this morning. As y'all can tell, we may have to be without one this morning. Yesterday was her last day on the program. <laughs> no, it hey, was. Huh? Did she talk back no. to you or something? We miss you, Gloria. Hi, Gloria. We miss you. Thanks, we sorry. do miss you because we need something up here well, to, I mean, to offset these looks. If you're going to start looks. off to me, Tom, this is the way it works. Oh, come on. Last <laughs> night, she said, well, we, Amy was going to try to surprise everybody and come in this morning. Well, Jaw Jacker's not knowing me and him, we're we best buds. He said, hey, I got going to be surprised tomorrow. Amy's going to cook chili in the kitchen. We're going to have a chili cook. I said, well, great. So he says, well, you don't need me. I said, well, stay home. Well, this morning, she gets up at 3.15. I had her coffee, coffee made like always, being the perfect husband that I am. She <laughs> no, wait, says, wait, wait a minute. She said, I thought you said I could have the day off. I said, you can go back to bed. Well, you told her so, hey. Well, hey don't Someone, blame her. Do you think? No. Sleep in? We'll, we'll see you tomorrow, boy. Hey, let me remind everybody, you know, we had Judge Don Mansell up here yesterday. Don't forget Eli Gold is going to be speaking at the local alumni chapter. You going, Zach? I doubt I go, but I got we got an event going on Tuesday. Event night. Sick. Let me finish. Don't cut me off. October 15th, the mission is $10 <laughs> per person. Uh, trying to get more people out to participate in the alumni association over at the event center. The voice of the Crimson Tide. It, it's so there it is. $10, ten a what ticket. You get and then uh, yeah. Tuesday night at, at Greenbrier, uh, we have a bunch of Bama guys. We're not alumni. We're a lot of guys from Tide are inside and Bama Magazine, the websites. We're having Wes Neighbors is coming to speak to us. Wes, I said so, so I sure will. So Good all money. you have to do is just pay your food and we give a little bit of a couple bucks. Well, and we pay you Wes hey. Neighbors, I heard his son Connor Amich quite he often. Sta he started the starting fullback for LSU was out, so Connor Well, let's started. just cut the crap. Well, that's, hey, wait a minute. Hold, hold, hold. Let's just stop the show right now. Let's get on <laughs> shut up right now. Wait a minute. There's a you're storm brewing. There's a storm up. brewing in Baton Rouge. You're being awful calm. Right now, knowing y'all just got beat, Look, gonna get beat, and gonna lose another couple. I went to the bridge, I looked down, it was too far to jump. And I was afraid I'd hurt myself. So I, mean, I, I, mean, I walked back home. You would absolutely be amazed if people have shut up taking it. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm assuming he's taking it pretty doggone good. I, I took it rough. I, I took it rough. So, I, how I would you describe it. That's, Let's hear it from you, the horse's mouth. You're still wearing purple, though. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm wearing. I'm what wearing. is the outlook for your LSU Bingo Tigers? Well, <laughs> not good. Discuss. <laughs> we could end up possibly with four losses. I, well, I, I, huh, I, read well, it. That's we, we, we could end, end up, up I said could, and I took a beating last week for hollering row, tie, row. Yeah. But yes, what, you but, did. But, so, so, but let me tell you, it was a sucker you guys in because come November 3rd, it will be a beat down in Baton Rouge town, baby. We we're going to walk 
we, Alabama and give them their first loss. We got Missouri you first. And put your money where your mouth I'm not putting my money on nowhere. We're too hurt. <laughs> if we could borrow some players from Alabama to put on our offensive line, we yeah, might be able we to play. Got, we got one game at a time. We got Missouri. Any fight for LSU. Who cares? Hey, look at all these upsets that's been happening, Jake. Upset. One Wait a minute. game at a time. You got to play somebody to get an <laughs> upset. You, you got to no play somebody. You got to no play somebody. We're going to wax there. You got to play somebody to have an upset. They don't even have a quarterback. You've been drinking too much of the Kool Aid, Zach. We can't be beat, man. We're going to have to nickname oh, Zach Little Saving. You, you heard what Curb Street said, didn't you, about Alabama? Yeah, he said the biggest challenge for Alabama is going to be the culture and what's created with success. Saving is ahead of the curve. What I see with Alabama this year is there's so much excitement. The Michigan game blew the doors off. Now you wouldn't even know they're playing. Well, yeah, it's a dangerous situation. That's because you hadn't played nobody. But, but hey, you enough. just take, like I say, one game at a time. And I think this thing's a lot. You coach you too much. <laughs> no, no, Coach Saban says that, too. Well, I know he says that. Look, uh, 2010, 2010, a lot of those guys, they, they were looking at the papers and getting into it. 2012, Nico Johnson, Jesse Williams, Robert Rush, all these guys are, <laughs> Barrett Jones are taking charge, and these Barrett guys are Jones. taking one game at a time. Hey, now, Phil right. still did have their all their all all-star team had like six players from uh, Alabama on it. Did you know that? Yep. Oh, you did. Oh, it's fine. Oh, what else you got, Zach? Sports director uh, for ZTV. <laughs> famous, famous get, Zach. Well, I've been mentioning my aunt Little Nancy. Saving. A lot of prayers have been answered because she's probably going to get to go home today from the hospital. So that's a good need. thing. And my cousins, Greg, Jeff, Chad, and Sonia, their grandmother passed away. Money, praying for them. And I guess we need to say happy birthday to why don't, Amy. Oh, why don't you sing happy birthday, Zach? She's got the birthday hat on. You can right. sing. You sing at church. Hit up tune to happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Happy birthday, dear Amy. Happy birthday to you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. If y'all want Zach to sing happy birthday to anybody, get your request in for on Thursdays, and we'll go from there, Zach. I'll right. you charge. Okay. I, I'm, I feel Please, cheap. That's not, that's what else, Zach? All right. All right. As we know, Auburn, Ole Miss, 1121 on Fox 54. I, Auburn, this is a must win for them. I think. Auburn ain't going to beat Ole Miss. Auburn ain't going to beat Ole Miss. Auburn right now. Yeah. Beat Ole Miss. Last place, the bottom. Auburn offense has sunk to new lows, <laughs> and the depths of despair are wearing out morale on the plains. This indicator daily this morning with players at more, uh, players, players trading barbs, calling out the young and lackadaisical, and seniors seemingly downtrodden. They're uh, scoring 15 point points a game, 15 and a half points a game. All, total offense 302 yards a game. Uh, what about it, Zach? How bad is it? Sounds like LSU last they, uh, They're struggling. I mean, they have no identity. When Gus Malzahn left, they they had created all these guys for spread offense. They were trying to run a pro style. Now that you just don't know, I watched every bit of that game Saturday. You could not tell what kind of oh, offense they were running. Auburn and I was is a four and a half point favorite uh, underdog against. Yeah. Oh, but will yeah, they say this? I don't. I, I say Ole Miss win because they played real good against Texas A&M. Last week. Well, let's talk about Alabama A and M. Uh, uh, well, we, they got that Alabama A and M's number two in their in their pocket. Maybe they gonna, somebody told me yesterday they're gonna send them another half a million to them not to show up. I mean, yeah. Coach, John, Coach Jones does a real good job out there. They don't get mentioned a lot, and, and they A and M they're doing that real they good. They got some speed on that. Team. Uh, That's where Auburn faces the trouble. Is the speed. We got Alabama, of course, Alabama, Missouri, two thirty CBS. Twenty two point favorite. There, there's a storm. You said it might they be said bad uh, I saw James Spann from. 3340 in Birmingham said that it could be t tornadoes during, before, during, and after the game. And I got some friends Goodness. traveling today down there, so I hope they have safe travels. But uh, then, then you got, uh, if you want to keep up, that Florida and Vandy, which could be a good game. A lot of people thinking, you know, Vandy's you know, playing a little oh, bit better. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. They beat Missouri. Hey, they beat Missouri buddy. in Missouri. Uh, then, of course, you got <laughs> South Carolina, South. LSU, which will be a big game for both LSU, of those teams. Yeah, I mean, I mean, well, that we're forgetting, too, is this Texas A&M, Louisiana Tech. Absolutely. It's yeah, Louisiana good. Tech, is, is, they're not bad. they got an offense. And you, know, you, know, 40 points you know who their offense coordinator is? Who? Former Auburn offense coordinator, Tony Franklin, that oh, they got rid of during the season. So he's he's getting a little comeback. Now, that's on. not where Hushbuss's coach is. He's not the coach. No, he's, he's at Louisiana. Newly came from Tech. No, not Louisiana Monroe. Uh, 
It's, it's another anyway, one. So, yeah, okay. Southwest Louisiana, something like that. Uh, okay, tonight you got the Titans playing the Steelers, uh, 720 NFL Blue. Network. Yeah, they're playing bad. Yeah. And then Sunday night football, you got Green Bay at Houston. That'll be a good one. And then Monday night, uh, Phillip Rivers gets a primetime game going against Peyton Manning and the Denver what Broncos. What about the lick the Falcons put on our Oh, that was, that was a rough hey. lick. I tell you, I got, the Falcons, I got a thing in USA Today. Falcons are Falcons good, are my man. pick for the Super Bowl now. Falcons are good. They're Good. Houston, if Texas. They stay healthy. Houston, Texas. Tom, they knocked the yeah. one team out, man. I hate yeah, the now, Falcons, but I gotta he, give him credit. Did he you. have a concussion? Yeah, he that had. They had may it. keep him out of the game this yeah. Saturday. Yeah, we keep him out. But they got Kirk Cousins. You remember we played against Michigan State? Good quarterback. Stomped them. Uh, let me give you the high school <laughs> games. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, this week, uh, Pop. Pope John Paul Catholic Pope at Ardmore. At Ardmore, Pope. that's their homecoming. You got Athens at Russell, Elmont at Clements, Muscle Shows at East Limestone, Tanner at Sheffield, and Rogers at West Limestone. Oh, Coach Pugh's got his plate full this week. Yeah, Muscle Shows is very good. Yeah. All right, so let's go back to the South Carolina game a little bit. It's Man, that's going to be tough. Saturday, when the game got to beat Georgia, attempted 10 passes, the fewest in Coach Spurrier's career as a head coach. So, y'all know that? What I think is, hey, I think we'll get hey. back to the basics and start running. Forget all that freaking passing because our, our, apparently our receivers can't catch. And if they do, they lose the ball try, instead yeah. of stepping out of bounds. Yeah. That, that's all you do is step out of bounds, and that, I think that game would have turned around. Absolutely. He'd step out. They just didn't go but, out of uh, freaking bounds. But, uh, yeah, I got home I'm mad. I'm gonna go Saturday jump. night from the Fiddlers, and it was already 21 nothing South Carolina. I was like, what? They didn't let up. Dude. They 21 never. nothing the yeah, first half, yeah. Uh, mm. You had Formula One the other day, Sebastian Vettel won, Mike Neff and HRA, and Matt, can, my buddy Jimmy said they'll be in China this weekend, <laughs> he told me to remind everybody, Shoot me. <laughs> and uh, Matt Kenseth NASCAR, and can you believe they had an article, did you see that yesterday in the Hustle Times? You know, they use 150, 160,000. <laughs> Get off me. They only had 88,000 yeah, no, in Talladega. That thing's hit 150. Jeff Gordon, uh, he, you know, he said, man, used to everybody been lined up to come in. NASCAR's but losing their love. They're losing. Right. They're, what else you got there? Uh, <laughs> I got my I got my quotes. Me hold that for that, next one. Let's do picks first. Let's Brad, put them up on there. Let's do our picks. Oh, I think man. last week I was four and one. All right, Auburn and Ole Miss. Hold that. Let's go first. I was four and one. I was four and one. I know that. I'm going with Ole Miss. I'm going with Ole Miss. Anybody going with oh, Auburn? I'm going to go with Auburn. I'm going with Auburn. Auburn, Auburn, Auburn. The, the Frank, kitchen's going with Auburn. Ole Miss. I'm sorry. I'm Brad. sorry, Brad. i got to go with Ole Miss. Auburn, Abby. Don't care. Abby. Uh, what, what was the next one? Stanford at Notre Dame. I think Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Yeah. Hey, Notre Dame's going to Notre, Dame, Notre, Dame, yeah. Notre Dame's not that bad. I hope Stanford. Notre Dame's playing very but good. I might wait a minute, but I don't think their schedule is as tough as it thought it was going to be. Yeah, it was tough to start with. Yeah, now, but now everybody is starting to lose. So I'm I'm what's the next one? Everybody going Notre Dame? I'm going Notre Dame. Yeah. Yeah. Notre Dame. Rudy. Rudy. Alabama, Rudy. I can't believe we put that one up there. Alabama. Wait a minute. Alabama. I'm going with uh, Alabama. Right, Alabama. Texas Roll and time. Oklahoma. Ooh, I like Texas. Texas. I like I'm going Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I like Oklahoma, too. I'm going with Texas. Texas. I'll stay with Texas. And the last one? I'm going with South Carolina. Yep. yep. Jeff, what are you going with? Texas. Oh, no. We're on the LSU. We're on the LSU. <laughs> South Carolina. Just Texas. cooking chili. <laughs> South Carolina. I, you know, I, I got to go with my, uh, my Tiger boys. But Better. Good God. Straighten up, guys. Come hey, on. Hey. I'm going with LSU, and the reason why is we're getting back to the basics, and we we got the best running backs in the country. We might as well use them. Yeah, besides us. I'm not going to go with one. Let's go with one that's not on there. Let's go Mississippi State hosting Tennessee. Mississippi State. 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 All right. What about Louisiana Tech? Texas A&M. I think Texas A&M passing tackle. I think Texas A&M. I think Louisiana Tech's got a good offense, but I think uh, A&M's ready. Yeah, well, the problem is Louisiana Tech's defense gives up a lot of points. Oh, on mind now. Later on this morning, we'll go to some filler yeah. convention video. I'm going to go to this. Do you, you eat one of these? I sent you, I sent you and Glory that picture. You get it, what is yeah. it? right before I ate it. It was two Krispy Kremes and a <laughs> hamburger inside. I'm going to show y'all how they make it. That is baseball team. Let me tell you what my wife did. This is just. She packed my daughter's lunch yesterday, and she made a peanut butter and jelly, and she put them in, when she put it in the bag, she didn't put the other part on top, so it looked like the, the sandwich was in there inside out. My daughter went and said, what the heck? Took a picture of it, said, what'd you do to my sandwich? Your daughter's 17, still eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Yeah, yeah, she, she loves I wish I had one now. Oh, hey, yeah, I still eat them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I eat the jelly off. Let's go to Zach's words of wisdom. All right, I got two of them today. First of them, 
first one is today is a good day simply because God made it. Amen. Amen. And uh, even though yeah. our co-host didn't show up today. Yeah, well, we miss you, Gloria. Yeah. Just think it's not her last day. day. No, it was, was not her last day. I guess we'll be out good. this morning to Charlie down at Metro Body Shop. We, me and Brad spent an hour down there shooting two seconds worth of video. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, here's my last one. Never let go of hope. One day you will see that it's all finally come together. What you have always wished for has finally come to be. You will look back and laugh at what has passed, and you will ask yourself, how did I get through all that? I See, we're having to get through one day without glory, but tomorrow it will be all like good. Good. If, if, if you're going for Obama, your hope and dreams, you better well let no, it go, no, baby. Don't forget the debate is tonight. We'll debate talk about that later tonight. in the month. Yeah, oh, right. Zach, let me pull out my Jamie uh -oh. Cooper words of wisdom. Uh-oh, here we go. We are all salesmen. That's right. We are. The best way to have a friend is to be one. Amen. That's why I don't have any. Um, pay less attention to what men say. Just watch what they do. <laughs> if other people did that, we'd be in a better spot. Let me just say right here. Never trouble another for what you can do for yourself. And my last one, reach out and touch someone, Zach. Oh. Uh, I'd like for somebody that she's not here. I can't tell. I'd like for somebody beside Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! Wait a minute. It said be a friend. Yeah, we. we. All right. There you go. Zach, our sports guy's got to go. Bama on the way to being undefeated, Zach. Well, we I'm, can't be beat. I'm, I'm, look, I'm just can't taking. Can't be beat, Zach. I, I'm just taking it, Missouri. Let's take care of Missouri, and then we'll go to the next one. <laughs> hey, shout out to Miss Barbara Stack. She watches this show every day religiously. Well, good. Thank you, Miss Barber, for watching. How's it cooking going, Amy? Happy birthday. Going good. Thank you. It's a uh, buckwheat could have come this morning. It would have been better. I now, thought you had buckwheat beside you. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll check in with them. Just We'll come back to the news in just a moment. You're watching Cooper & Company Live. Hey, by the way, I want to mention Lawler's Barbecue. We'll be shooting a spot at Lawler's at the location right here on Highway 72. Y'all can meet us down there this Saturday. I'm Saturday. This Friday, we'll be there 11 to 12 and probably down with Jerry over on uh, Hop Street also. Lawler's Barbecue. Barbecue, y'all can go by there and get them big old turkey taters and everything else too. Lawler's Barbecue, the best you're gonna eat. Right now, we'll take a break and be right back. Y'all, hang on. And in with Jamie Cooper. Brought to you by Domino's Pizza and by the Colvin Dental Group. And before I get started on this very important newscast, let's go to the kitchen first and find out how the chili cook-off is going on the Cooper & Company morning program. Hey, good morning. We're back here in the kitchen. A little uh, chili challenge this morning. I'm um, Jeff Matthews, and that's Amy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got the fabulous one joining me this morning in the kitchen by request of me. We were sitting here wanting to have a good time in the kitchen and thought this would probably be the safest thing because we're both married. Uh, I would like to just take a, just a second here. Just to say, uh, they got my back, my back turned. Uh, happy birthday to my little buddy, Amy. Oh, <laughs> and they were out of the Alabama one, so I got you that oh, little koozie right there. You. When you're sitting out on the front and just hanging out with your friends and saying, look at me, look at me. She's I'm an Auburn fan. Jeff Matthews. <laughs> All right. Thank you, and uh, we're still uh, cooking away up here. We've got the cornbread in the oven. It's just about done, and uh, the chili's getting going. Is yours still looking like it's about to be edible? Well, <laughs> this is the good one, and I'm not sure what that is, but when you get through it, probably. I'm trying to do news uh, here. Chili and chile. <laughs> uh, over to you, Jamie. Yeah. And back here in the kitchen this morning, got my best two cooks in the entire world in here. Fabulous Amy Birthday Horton on my right, and Jaw Jacker. Lip smacker Jeff Matthews here. Let's do the weather first, because you know I'm having to do everything this morning, which I, I'm kind of accustomed to doing. There's the weekend weather forecast for the whole week. Looks like a, just a little bit, who? Little bit of rain. Little bit of rain. Y'all know what I like to do? Eat crackers. Hand me that cracker box behind you there. Fabulous one? Yeah, let me have that whole box. What kind of crackers are those? What? <laughs> what? 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 What kind of crackers were they this morning? Yeah, huh? Yeah, I just wanted to have get some crackers in here this morning. <laughs> saltine, nothing like some saltines in here this morning. Man, I love to eat crackers. All right, how'd y'all work up this deal here, Amy? What are you, you're already eating. Oh, I just fixed this to look good because his is still doing something. Cooking. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Cooking. Once you buy this stuff. Uh huh. Pre-made, all you gotta do is warm it up. Really. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, Hormel is uh, in a can. Can we get a shot of his cans back there? What? He makes it, a mess, but he cleans up very good. 
All right, what are you cooking, Jeffrey? Uh, now, how's your mama? My mama's good. Mama's good, and uh, Miss Mara, a friend of hers that, that makes this chili, this recipe, and it is fantastic. But I was in the store last night about 11.30 looking for some adobo. I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. And so she said, go to the Latin area. I go to the Latin area in the store in Kroger, which they do have a nice area in there. Are, they, spon said, are they sponsoring your food for uh, you to use in the Lewis and Son Kitchen as Hometown Market does for Fabulous? As of right now, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> as of right now, that they're not. But I'm looking for adobo, so I'm walking through the aisle, and I'm trying to find the person. I don't person. know what that is. I thought you said I'm trying to the musical. A-D-O-B-O. -O. I'm looking for the person in the, on that aisle that could possibly help me. Since it's a Latin-type food or whatever, and uh, all my Latin friends were sleeping at that time, uh, there was one guy on the aisle. I said, hey, man, excuse me, uh, I'm, I'm doing cooking tomorrow morning on Jamie Cooper's show, and I'm looking for some adobo. He said, what? I said, adobo? He said, man, that's a bird. I said, that's a dodo, man. I'm talking about adobo. So I just, I just went with something else. But uh, it, it should be great this morning. It should be really good. All right, let's talk about before we get carried away here. If you got a leak and you need it fixed, where do they need to go and who do they need to call who's the general manager of the number one roofing company in this part of the country? That'd be me. Yeah, that'd be you. 256 523 1213, Lewis and Son Roofing. Uh, give me a call. I personally have been on the road this past week. Uh, Shane Lewis and I, uh, David Sharp, we've been visiting uh, several different houses in the area. And uh, just give us a call and you'll see me come out. Yeah, you'll come out and do give them a lesson, but cook them something if they buy them, get a new roof. Get I will come out and eat. Come out and while, while if, it, if you have a really steep roof, I will bring David Sharp out. He'll climb on the roof while I come in and entertain and talk to All you. All right. So. Now, what separates these two chilies, Amy? That'd be that box of crackers. <laughs> Mine is fast, easy, and delicious. So good that even a non-cook like Amanda Kuzma could cook it. <laughs> and it tastes perfect. And Mine is uh, more of the fast in and out. That's hers. Mine is the slow stay around for a while and enjoy it. All right, now, how many will you feed with what you cook this morning? Uh, we're going to probably feed everybody in here today. What Shane going to eat? Uh, no, he's going he to have, he's gonna have, he'll have some of this. You can, you know, seven, eight people. Uh, I didn't make a large pot of it because since we had two pots going today. so. But I did taste Amy's earlier, and it's really good. How's your brother Jeremy oh. taking the LSU loss? Uh, Jeremy and Donnie Huddleston could have both put on helmets and shoulder pads and actually helped and won the game. <laughs> Two men and a quarterback, it's all they needed. There was enough steam and fire, they could have ran on down the field. All right, Jeff did ask you earlier, when's your cookbook going to be here? It will be here any day. I'm waiting on it any day. And what are you doing for your big birthday celebration today? Margaritas. Huh? That's all I need to say. Yeah, that's very good. Hey, uh, Frank got through interviewing, uh, interviewing, uh, emceeing the 200th uh, edition of the Athens Old Town Fitters Commission this past weekend. We were over there Friday, got some people seen, then we're going to have to go out later on this morning with the Riders in the Sky that Brad was over that afternoon, too. Large crowd on Friday, Saturday also. Go to some of that. When we come back, we're going to talk about the debate tonight with our political analyst, Mr. Donnie LSU Shut Up Huddleston. Who's already said more in a mouthful today, but took it pretty well. More better than I thought. We'll talk about that. Plus, we'll talk about the Athens baseball team making their famous donut burger. We'll be right back after this. Y'all hang on.
I do want to address one of the emails we got this week. Stay off politics. But no, we can't. We're a month out from the election. Less than a month now. Less than a month. Out from the election right here. USA Today, Biden expected to be aggressor. It says here he's got to go right at Ryan, our political analyst, Donnie Huddleston, from the beginning. He's got to put him on the defensive from the get-go. And they said they expect Biden to come after him, Ryan, like a cannonball. Well, and, and I, think, I think Biden will. The, the problem is Biden knows the numbers, but he don't know what the numbers mean. And he will come out, but I think Biden's going to be on the defense the whole time. And I think Ryan will take and, um, and take, take charge. What happens tonight if Ryan plummets Vice President Joe Biden? What, what happens in the, the numbers? Well, it, it might hurt just a little bit, but it won't be no, the bounce. Ryan stomps him. Oh, if Ryan stomps him, it's, it's done. Uh, oh, I mean, it, it will be done for the election. We will get another bump out of it. There will be a bump out of this, whether who wins, depends on who wins, are but you, it won't be as big as the Are you shocked that the bump Mitt Romney got by the annihilation of President Obama? No, see, because everybody keeps talking about how bad Obama did. Obama didn't do that bad. The problem is Romney was just more superior and knew what he was talking about and a businessman. And when you're talking economy, Romney has the upper hand. So how do you see uh, the president coming out later in the next one, next two? Well, it could be destructive for him. If he comes out... He and can't read anything because he's got to ad-lib it. Right, he's got to answer to the people asking the questions. Now, that kind of concerns me because just like he did on that last with, that, with the elementary school, yeah. you know, they was asking questions that elementary people do not a uh, uh, ask. Those kids would be asking something about Big Bird or something. So is the race tied right now, basically? No, it's um, Romney's ahead. Of course, if you go by, I mean, if you the take... Swing it, states are going to be the most important thing, Ohio. Well, Romney's winning all the swing states except for one. So, so you think I, we still got a good shot? I think, he has a, I think he has a better shot than Obama coming back. All right, so what do you expect tonight in the debate with Ryan and Biden? I expect it to be close. I don't expect it to be a uh, runaway. I don't expect um, Biden to get buried out there, but I do expect Ryan to win, and, and a, a lot of them will say it's a tie. All right, I've saved this burger for you. This is the donut burger we just showed you this morning. It's good. It's been in the refrigerator. I got this Friday afternoon from the Athens baseball team. They said, you've got to see these. The man that invented them is the assistant coach down at down with that, down at the Athens baseball team. We're going to go to that video now. We were down that way. Gloria took a bite of it while it was down there. They're not this one. This one here is a fresh one. Just heat him up. He's good to go. Nothing better than a Krispy Kreme on a hamburger <laughs> patty. <laughs> We got chili and this. I couldn't eat that, That's man. some breakfast, I couldn't man. eat that. There's no All right, way. let's go down to the Fenner's Convention with the Athens baseball team, and they were doing donut burgers for a good cause. And we'll be back in a moment. Y'all, hang on. Yes, sir. Now, we're cooking regular burgers here, which... These are known to be the best burgers within a 10-foot radius yeah. here, guaranteed, okay? But if you're really adventurous, yeah. we've got what's called the Donut Burger. The Donut Burger. The Donut Burger. New to Athens. Brand new to Athens. We're bringing it to the good people who love Athens here. That's right. Now, what do you do? I'm cutting it. I'm preparing for the Donut Burger. We're going to cut this Krispy Kreme donut in half right here. It has to be Krispy Kreme. It has to be. And then you're going to do what? And then we're going to place the patty in the donut. Like that. Like that, like so. And then we'll wrap it up, and then you can put whatever Don't you want. Hold me back up before you close. That's all right. One more time. Let me see the meat. And make sure people know we're not. All right. Oh, you that's have good. Put that's a hamburger patty in between a Krispy Kreme donut. And that is USDA prime beef right there. What's the calorie count on that? We're not worried about that. We're not worried about that. How much y'all selling these creations for? These right here are going for. Three dollars. Three dollars. Only three dollars. What do you call it again? The donut burger. The donut burger. Can't get it anywhere else in Athens. And you brought it to Athens. Brought it to Athens. From where? The good people of Athens. From well, you've seen it on the Food Network. Yeah. Some of you guys may have seen it on the Food Network. But uh, we're bringing it to Athens. All right. This is what Athens needs. A genuine donut burger. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you. Look good. <laughs> I hear you got to take a video.
I can pretend like I'm Fred. Man, it's hot in the kitchen. Why is not Fred here today? Bad hair style? Bad hair day. She uh, tried to permit herself and um permit herself. And she looks like a white buckwheat. <laughs> 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 All right, so how would the chili, I mean, we don't have a cookout. We're not doing any tournament. I mean, I, you know, I was a judge at the Grease Festival. But I'll tell you one thing. I just love eating crackers. Well, I'm really a Ritz man, but I'll take a saltine <laughs> any day. I'm taking these days anyway. I'm, good. Uh, I'm the judge. All right. And uh, Amy's is very good. It, it, it is really good. And uh, is that recipe available? It is. Amy's actually cooking my recipe for chili today. <laughs> uh, I sent that over to her, and, and she did really good. And then she spiced it up a little bit with a few more things. So. Yeah, you know, that's what I did. Exactly. <laughs> what coming I up did. here in a couple of months, you will be cooking on the program a year. Does it get hard every Thursday to come up with something different? Yes, we're about to go to reruns here on the uh, Cooper and Company <laughs> for In the Kitchen. For those who weren't watching last year, wow, that's really good. Well, we made. You're like last a preacher. Year. Just redo the sermon a year yeah, later. Yeah, I could do that. He doesn't I mean, have to do that. He can go on the cooking. It's page the same and ending. Oh, he can get all one of your three thousand recipes from your cookbook <laughs> coming out real right. soon. That's Let's right. talk a little bit about the sponsor of this portion. Of the program, Lewis and Sons Roofing. You can stop a leak in a creek, and if he can't, he'll take a leak in a creek. <laughs> <laughs> so give Jeffrey a call. How to get in touch with you, Jeffrey? 533 1213. That's it. That's it. Hey, listen, we had a pretty good little challenge this week. It was fun just having some other somebody else in the kitchen that knows how to cook in the kitchen. Uh, not that Gloria can't, but I'm just she saying can't. that, so that, that, that she was here. Right now. And, uh, that, that, uh, you know, your current wife. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, I knew it was Amy's birthday and the big, the big three O. I'm pretty excited for you and everything. Right. And uh, you know, you got kids older than you, don't you? I do, but <laughs> I'm from Alabama, so. <laughs> <laughs> big, big week, big week uh, today. Uh, Mackenzie, my daughter, is going to try out for Calhoun okay, uh, softball. So, uh, Coach Keenum, uh, yeah, tell her I, said hello, I can yeah. cook, and uh, uh, she'd she be pretty good. We, we, we had a big, very big weekend playing softball in Columbia, Tennessee, and uh, Mackenzie got recognized at, at, at being a big hitter. So, we're going to put a show on for him today, hopefully at practice. All right, hey, don't forget now, tomorrow, you Lawler barbecue fans, there should be a lot of you over there. We'll be shooting a new commercial for them down here at Highway 72 tomorrow between 11 and 12. We'll also probably go by the other location over on Hobbs, and there's the man. They don't get no better than the fine folks that own Lawler's barbecue. Philip, Jerry, and Jim Kelly, they got bar Lawler's barbecues opening up all over North Alabama. Doggone it, just some of the best Christian folks you'll ever do business with, too. Lawler's barbecue, takeout, turkey taters, and everything else. Anything else we need to say? Did we miss anybody today? I don't think so, y'all. Just Gail. Yeah. And, oh, Gloria. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know how to do weather? <laughs> I do. What do you look like in a pair of boots? <laughs> hey, I got some rubber boots in the garage. I'm waiting for her. Hey, well, uh, tomorrow night, Spartman High School is doing their softball fundraiser. Uh, How many are you cooking? Last year we did 167 Boston Butts. We have four grills. Mark Craig and a couple others, right. Bankston Motorhomes, they brought their grill down, did a little video. Fantastic. It was fun. This year we underestimated. Everyone liked the food so much. Last year we had 308 Boston Butts. We are four grills short, so if you have a big smoker grill, please give me a call at 256-759-3345. Jeff Matthews. Please, we're trying to uh, go ahead and Since you mentioned Mark Craig, let me give a shout out to his dad, the current commissioner on District 3. He's been there forever, buddy, Jerry Craig, who's retiring. My little brother, Jeffrey, he's running. Y'all vote for him when it comes up on November 6th for the election. Jeff Cooper, commissioner, district. You see a signs all over that part of the country. All right, we're going to go out. And Brad was down on the scene today for Riders and Sky. Frank said had a tremendous crowd for that. If y'all don't know, they say they are pretty doggone good. We'll go out with that. We'll see y'all back tomorrow morning. I may be doing weather again. You never know. See y'all tomorrow. Governor of the great state of rhythm, champion of the folk process, Ranger Doug. I'm back in the saddle again, out where a friend is a friend, where the longhorn cattle feed on the Lord of Jimson Key. Back in the saddle again, I'm riding the rain once more. Toting my old 44 Where you sleep out every night And the only law is right Back in the saddle again We'll be die, yeah, yo Rockin' 
to and fro, back in the saddle again. Oh, they die, I go my way, back in the saddle. side saddle. Yes, I suppose they would. <laughs> Some horsemen under the tree. Apparently so, yeah. Boys, it's a big deal. Saturday. Friday. Friday. That's that one. Who knows? Not ever. We just got back from Alaska. We've been in Alaska for 10 days. We have no idea what time zone it is, but <laughs> wherever we are, it's great to be here and it's time to wahoo, one, two, one, two, three, four. Can I get a big wahoo? Give me a horse, great big horse, and give me a bunch of rude, and let me wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. Give me a ram, give me a pair of pants, and give me a stetson, too, and let me wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. Give me those wild and spaces. I'm just like a prairie flower, growing wilder every hour. Give me a moon, a prairie moon, give me a gal, it's true, and let me wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. Well now what did Cleo back to say to Anthony when they met? She hollered, wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. What did Roman Romeo yell to Miss Juliet? Still wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. It started way back in Eden. Miss Eve was the cause of this no fib. She wahooed Adam for a rib. What did Bunker Huntus yell the minute she saw John Smith? Wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. Wahoo, 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 waho